Shalom, Shalom. This is Kaparya, a.k.a. Pops, out of GMS Chicago, with another sit-down. Before I get started, though, like always, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kakodash. Yahweh being the name of the Holy Father, Yahweh Shai being the name of the Son, Rakak Kodash is the Holy Spirit or the or, or the or the Word. Okay. So now, uh, I want to send double honors out to the apostles and elders of GMS out of New York because they do rule well. To the brethren around the world, pushing this truth uncut, unfiltered, giving you the good, the bad, and the the good, the bad, and the ugly of the scriptures correctly breaking down the prophecies and interaction with people on planet declaring wanted. I send salutations. For the hopeful elect, I hope this is edifying. For the aquath, the few and the true that's listening to said in charity keep doing so. But for the scorn and scoff of reprobate two-third Israelites and 17 other nations that are hooked to this man's Esau's kingdom and in the midst of Jacob's trouble, it's only going to get worse. Okay. It is going to get worse. So with that being said, we got, we got, this is a uh, sky news, Australia, 1.93 million subscribers. That, and you can see the title, Daniel Andrews urges Victorians to get tested as case numbers rise. Okay. At this point in time, it's only 11 minutes ago. And it's got 325 views at this point in time. But um, I'm going to let this play. Then I'm going to add some. I'm going to add um, some scripture to it. And I'm going to add a definition in the midst of it. So let me let him rattle off. Let me let them rattle off their numbers first. Infectious period. That takes us to a time. Hold on. Let me. Take this off and let this go back here. 600 active cases, uh, 596 locally acquired and four that are overseas acquired. There are 36 people in hospital, 11 in ICU, eight on a ventilator. 56,248,000 test results were received. 56,248 test results were received yesterday. Uh, which is a fantastic outcome. We thank every single one of those nearly 56, well, more than 56,000 Victorians who have come forward and got tested in the last 24 hours. Those results are still coming back to people, the vast, vast majority, well into the 90% uh, within, uh, well, that is re received the following day. Uh, so uh, our labs are working very well. Uh, the queues are not that long, and we'll get you results as soon as we possibly can, but we're deeply grateful to each and every one of those people for going and getting tested. The, uh, the key point, though, is to get tested as soon as you possibly can. So when you register symptoms, you can't wait seven and eight days, as uh, regrettably some of today's positive cases did wait a long time before they went and got tested, which meant they were in the community. They were out there unknowingly infecting other people, and often the people that they love the most, their family, their, their very close family, their immediate family and friends, You've got to go and get tested as soon as you get symptoms. Otherwise, you will almost certainly give this to all the people that you love. And uh, this is not a good thing to get. A lot of people get very, very unwell when they are infected with this Delta variant. Uh, so, every day we stand here and we, we talk about the need to get tested and the need to do that promptly. And the reason is... Now, but their, their so-called own research says that the people that spreads the Delta variant are people that have been fully vaccinated. That's what they said. So, that's what the statistics said. So, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not going to go further into that, but this is something that was said. Okay, so, the, the, the variant is you know more capable among people that are following the rules per se so i'm gonna let it 
go and do this as far as they saying when the, when the symptoms show up. So let me let them play some more. If everyone gets tested as soon as they register symptoms, we will slow the rate of this spread. We will drive down the number of cases and we'll protect more and more people from serious illness, hospitalisation uh, and even worse than that. So it's not just a, a line. Like it's a, it is absolutely critical. If you've got symptoms today, get tested today. Don't wait a week. Don't wait an afternoon. Get tested as soon as you register those symptoms. Otherwise, you'll just be spreading this virus, and that's not in anybody's interests. Big day of vaccinations yesterday, 33,932, our biggest day in state hubs ever, and we're going to continue to see those records being set and reset. Uh, that is a fantastic day, and we thank all of those who came forward, uh, nearly, nearly 34,000 people to get their uh, vaccines yesterday. I will see those numbers continue. I know that yesterday was a, was a challenging day with more than a million people trying to book uh, just a few hundred thousand appointments. That's that's challenging, uh, but uh, I can tell you that the system does work. Uh, it is it is one of those things where it just it is inevitable that you finish up with so, so much demand for such a precious uh, and limited quantity of product. It will be challenging. But our household were uh, Grace got her uh, appointment around dinner time last night after having been on and off the website from 6 a.m. yesterday. So no different to any other family, I can tell you the system does work. She's got an appointment on Sunday. Uh, but not all of her friends were able to get appointments yesterday. But I would encourage people to, to go back, to stick with it. Uh, it's worth the wait because it is our way out of restrictions. It is our way out of having our hospitals overwhelmed. It's our way back to a normal life. So everybody getting vaccinated is such an important part of that. To that end, yesterday we had about 200,000 bookings made. We would normally have about 30,000 bookings made. So that gives you a sense of just how much demand there is and just how much additional capacity we've been able to deal with. But again, when you've only got a few hundred thousand doses for more than a million people, uh, that does make it challenging. But I would say to people, there are still appointments available. There's still vaccine available. There'll be further announcements made in coming weeks as, as, as extra shipments arrive from the Commonwealth, as they have uh, promised. And as soon as we have uh, clarity about when we're getting supply, we'll put additional appointments into the system uh, and we'll be standing here and telling people to go online and book. So uh, that 80%, that race to 80% is incredibly important for all of us and every single jab plays an important part in us getting to that milestone. Uh, I'd encourage people to go back online. Uh, you, have, you have to be patient, there's no choice, uh, but there are appointments being made. In fact, 200,000 of them were made yesterday. In terms of Shepparton, I just wanted to give a shout out to the people of Shepparton. They've again done, they are doing an amazing job. It's a tough and proud and incredibly resilient community up in the Golden Valley. Uh, but this is. Okay, let's be off a little bit and, and look into some things. Let's just check into some things. Okay, so now I wanted to go and find and let you see one of their own so-called specialists breaking this down so it's not my words see because they like to say that you know we're spreading misinformation so I'm going I'm I'm breaking this down he's speaking positively about certain scenarios of it and this that and other but I want you to hear what he has to say about the people that's that's already been in the midst of this and with the variant what can happen so I'm gonna let this play now so not my words I'm gonna let this play and at one of the cleavage sites better cleavage better reproduction another takeaway from the study is that the authors concluded that neutralization of both viruses is reduced when compared with the original Wuhan strain, but there's no evidence of widespread antibody escape. They said the data did suggest that those previously infected with COVID may be more susceptible to reinfection by the new Delta variant. Also, it looks like monoclonal antibody treatments are ineffective at treating the Delta variant. The big concern is vaccine escape, meaning that the current vaccines will become far less effective as the virus evolves. So far, it hasn't happened, but eventually we'll need new vaccines for the variants, likely a yearly thing. The good news is that these vaccines are still protective against the Delta variant. 
according to research released by Public Health England for the Pfizer vaccine, after both doses, it was 88% effective in preventing symptomatic disease and 96% effective at preventing hospitalization. For the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, if they had both shots, it was 92% effective at preventing hospitalization. If you only get one shot of either one of these vaccines, the effectiveness is pretty low. It's around 30 to 40%. So more studies will soon be available when it comes to the Moderna and the Johnson & Johnson vaccines. There's also talk about this Delta variant having new symptoms and possibly more severe symptoms. So Tim Spector, who is a professor of genetic epidemiology at King's College in London, he runs the Zoe COVID symptom study. This is an ongoing UK-based study where people can enter their symptoms on an app, which then gets analyzed by the researchers. From this study, he noted that COVID is now acting differently. It's more like a bad cold, especially in the younger population. The number one symptom being headache and then other symptoms including sore throat, runny nose, and fever. So that's going to be all for this one. Thank you for watching. And if you did like this video. Okay. So now, like I said, you, you can do what you do, but you're still susceptible. However, however, you try to work around it. Their words, you're still susceptible. So you could be getting shot after shot after shot after shot. As it keeps mutating, you can wind up being shot after shot. Just a little bit more information. I'm not saying anything. Just let it play. These are four healthcare workers from different hospitals in North Carolina. Why not? We don't know what the long-term side effects are. It also hasn't been proven to be effective. The CDC and many public health experts say that it's more than 90% effective. They do say that. <laughs> that hasn't proven to me to be true. I'm not going to... Okay, so she said it hasn't been proven to her to be true. And she's a respiratory therapist. This is her occupation. They said that's... And you heard the guys in the last video says... Uh, that you know the things that they 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 dealing with is it's the it's the respiratory thing is what creates issues when it comes to covid i.e the ventilators and everything else right so let's let it play just jump on a bandwagon with something that has not been tested when you say that it hasn't been tested it has been tested though but not to the if you look at the normal the normal year span of how long something is tested it's usually 12 to 14 years before it comes to humans across the country about one in four healthcare workers still isn't vaccinated against covid <laughs> from north carolina to texas to new york anti-mandate protests are mounting i don't trust it right now so is the pushback this is in the category of give me a bleeping break. Uh, when did everyone get a medical degree? For weeks, we've spoken with many overworked healthcare workers who practically begged Americans to get the shot. What do you tell people who just <laughs> don't believe you? It's frustrating. You know? Not these. They say they're not anti-vax, more anti-mandate. And I'm not comfortable putting something into my body until I am ready. If and when I'm ready to get the vaccine, I will get it on my own accord. I won't be forced. You just don't trust the CDC. I do not trust the CDC. Absolutely not. And that fuels their skepticism. I have the right to question anybody in this country. I want to question. You're entitled to an opinion, but these are facts. Are they, though? Are they facts? Last year, more than 40,000 people participated in the Pfizer clinical trial alone, but those workers are among the many who are not convinced. Bingo. Thanks for watching our YouTube. End of story. So now we're going to go back to the original thing. A bit different to circumstances they faced in the past. Uh, because there's so many. Uh, primary and secondary close contacts around 16,000 in a community the size of the Golden Valley. That is, that's a lot of people uh, who are at home having to do 14 days of ISO. Uh, some, some of their circumstances may change depending on test results, but at this stage they're all in, the assumption is, for the full 14 days. Uh, that's very, 
very big impact on lots of industry. So the post office has been affected, supermarkets have been affected, distribution centres have been affected. Every part of life in Shepparton and across the Golden Valley has been impacted by the fact that so many people are not at work. They don't necessarily have the virus, but the assumption has to be that they've been exposed through schools, through, through shopping centres, through all sorts of different exposure sites. So what we've done, I've asked uh, our Deputy Emergency Management Commissioner Deb Abbott to go to Shepparton. She's gone up there last night. She'll essentially be in partnership with other senior officials across government, particularly from the Department of Families, uh, Fairness and Housing, uh, who will be coordinating emergency relief. She will be running that as if it were you know, no different to a bushfire or a flood. Uh, that emergency management architecture will be in place. Uh, but it will be, in the main, very, very simple things. Taking food to people's uh, door, doorsteps, uh, getting scripts filled, doing all those sort of things. I spoke with Susanna Shee yesterday. Uh, her and her office are doing an amazing job supporting her local community. Uh, 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 Deputy Commissioner Abbott and Susanna were speaking just after I spoke with Susanna last night. So everybody's working together. Everybody's focused on getting everyone in Shepparton the things that they need when they need it. Uh, I want to thank I want to thank the people of Shepparton for their the amazing way in which they have joined together to look out for each other and uh, and to, uh, to to fight this virus. Uh, there is there, this is special though. It's it's different than it was last year with so many people unable to perform key functions. That's why we're there to help out. Uh, and there are substantial additional people on the ground today and that will build over time with public servants, general duties people, people from all across regional Victoria in the main. We don't want to have Melbourne people going there for fear of taking the virus with them, but if we can have mainly regional Victorian public servants go and help out, again, dropping off food parcels, doing all those sorts of practical but very, very important things. We'll stick with the community of Shepparton and give them all the support that they require in, in this their, their time of need. Uh, I might just add that we've provided some additional support to uh, to food share. Okay, so you hear what's going on and all the different things and the numbers and all this other kind of stuff. Okay, but you know, you know, numbers are numbers, and numbers can have this happen to them. Okay, like numbers being what they were. Um. When this thing dropped, all the different things that we talked about, all the different things that was already out there that people was ill from and passing from and this, that, and other, all those things kind of got lost in the shuffle. And the only thing that they was reporting and dealing with is this, uh, this, uh, Venom per se. So let's look at what the word that I looked up. What does what of what means? Y'all, you can read it. What is meant by, what does, what does, what, what does, okay. So, like I said, things can things can be done to this this level. So, <sighs> grain of salt. Let's go get the scripture. John eight and forty four. Ye are of your father the devil. And the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. 
When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. The nurses didn't say what they said because they said what they said because they know certain things and what can and cannot be on the up and up. So with that, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Kakodash. <clears throat> Again, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Kakodash. To the apostles and elders of GMS. Again, I send double honors because they do real well. Brethren around the world pushing this truth uncut, unfiltered. Keep doing so. Hope we like to hope that's edifying. Aqua, if you don't choose this, this is said the to keep doing so. It's going to scoff for a bit. Two thirds is like 17 other nations hooked to this man system. In the midst of Jacob's trouble, it is going to get worse. First group, a hearty shot of warm. Second group, a barber ball. <laughs>